Hello, everyone. Welcome to our class, our yin yoga class for 60 minutes, beginning our class on our mat. My name is Tammy. It's a little scooch back here, and then I'm going to roll over and sit on my heels. So with the toes down, sitting on our heels. Now, if this pose doesn't work for you, our toe pose, you can sit on your bottom with your legs crossed in front, an easy pose. You can also sit on a chair. So finding which pose that you would like to do for yourself and then into stillness. You may turn your palms up towards the sky or you can have your palms down and slide the heels of your hands towards your hip crease. We close our eyes. We let our pelvis sink into the ground. Our focus, our intention for our class is energy, energetic and emotional harmony. For myself, I love harmony. I'm sure we, we all like harmony. Harmony from within, having that balance. Harmony with friendships, workplace. Harmony at home. So coming into your center, to find that balance, that harmony from within. We breathe. The Ujjayi breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Are you able to let your body soften? If you are in toe pose with me, notice the opening of your feet. Continue to let your pelvis soften. We open up our eyes and we smile, smiling from within. And coming out of toe pose, open to the chin. A little light dropped. If you are in an easy pose, you can roll over to the side of your body, having your left leg in front and the right leg behind. Coming into deer pose now. Deer pose. It's not that we're flexing our feet, but our toes can come back a bit. Adding a pelvic tilt through the right side of the hip, we press forward. We can add a rotation, a twist here, lifting up and then rotating. You can also add a forward fold over to the side. Let the head hang. If you're able to rest your forehead on something, please do. 
It may be your hands, your arms, a block of cushion. And breathe. Inhale, opening up through your center, opening up to all sides in the front, in the back, the sides of the body. Opening upward, opening downward. In deer pose, we feel that stretch, the stretch through the front of our thigh, our hip flexor, into the sides of our body, into the back. Slowly making your way out of deer pose. If you added the board, the fold, you can come up nice and slow. And making your way out of the twist into the other side. We have our right leg forward and left leg behind now. Again, pelvic tilt. This side is through the left side of our pelvis and we press forward. Lift up at the little rotation here, twist. Also, you can add the fold to the side and we let our forehead come forward. It may rest on our hands, our arms. If it's not there yet, let your head hang. Now again, opening into all sides of your body. Think of your center as a balloon and you're opening forward. You're opening to the back. You're opening to the sides. You're opening up. You're opening down. And as you open, nice inhale breath. Feel the rise. And then with the exhale breath, feel the letting go, the release, the sinking. Finding an even breath. Breathing into all those areas of tightness. Withholding these poses for longer periods of time. Making our way into the fascia, which covers the muscles. So 
Usually it's the fascia that's really tight, overlying the muscle. Breathe into it. out up to your pose so we make your way back up taking your hands behind and the feet will come forward and feet wider than the hips windshield wiper knees side to side for the next pose butterfly We'll have our pillows, one under each knee. Bottom of the feet, soles of the feet together. And we're setting ourselves up so we're nice and supported. We sit up, we breathe in and exhale, hold. Your hands could remain onto your feet or you could stretch your arms forward and let the head hang. Inhale, opening up, exhale, release. Releasing the body forward, releasing your head forward. Let yourself go. This is a really nice pose to feel your center opening up like that balloon, the ball opening up and letting go with the exhale breath.
Notice how your inhale breath opens up through the back, drawing your attention to the back, letting the back relax with the exhale breath. With a stretch into your inner thighs, your groin. Continue to let your back release with the exhale breath. Out a butterfly, it's so slow. And come up one vertebra at a time. Right. Taking your knees forward to the center and legs straight ahead. And then do a little shake, shake, shake out the legs. And coming into counter pose, bending through the knees here. With my toes and coming to all fours. Into melting heart, we do a big step forward with the right hand and a big step forward with the left hand. Draw your forearms down towards the ground. Our hips, pelvis stays over top of our knees. Draw the forehead down to the ground. Our class will open, stretch out all sides of our body. So I want you to think about that as we move through each of the poses. Thinking of elongating and releasing the different sides of our body here into our back, here into our, our, our arms, 
our shoulders. Feel the opening into your pelvis, sides of the pelvis. Feel the length, the stretch into the sides of our legs, to the outside of our legs. Coming out of melting heart, back to all fours, and hold, you may wag your tail. Next pose is driving pose. So from um, all fours, we can make our way to downward facing dog. I'll show you an option for uh, driving two that you can Come on to the knee also here. So step forward with the right hand, left hand into downward facing dog. Three legged dog, the right leg lifts, bend through the knee and step onto the outside of the right wrist. So here my left knee is up. You can have the left knee down. If you need support for underneath of the left knee, you can. Step up your mat. Got two mats already, so it's a little bit softer. So you're holding here. Let the pelvis sink into the ground. A deeper stretch would be coming into the forearm. So this is a deeper stretch onto the outside of the right hip, right side of our pelvis. Now let your exhale breath guide you to be able to sink into the ground a little bit deeper. So inhale breath, so your breath actually guiding you. Inhale breath, opening up, breathing into any areas of tension. Exhale breath, let your body soften, let the pelvis soften. 
Let your head hang. Now with the pelvis softening, you're also stretching into the left hip flexors, the front of the thigh. As you feel your pelvis softening into the ground, do you also feel the stretch into the inner left thigh, into the inner right thigh? Here, my shoulders are rounded. And I'm letting my head hang. Slowly make your way out of dragon. You may come to all fours, you can come into child's pose or downward facing dog. And we make our way to the other side. Three legged dog, the left leg lifts, bend through the knee and step onto the outside of the left wrist. Try again on this side. You may have the knee down to the ground. You can also have the leg up. That would be definitely a lot more challenging with the forearms coming down, but you can do that. You may hold here with your hands down towards the mat. You can come to with your fists down to, to take pressure off the wrist. Or you can come down to the forearms. Feel where you have any areas of tightness that you can breathe into. So outside of the left hip, inner thighs, right hip flexor, into the upper back. Now I'm gonna again round through my shoulders. I'm just gonna let them sink down and then I'm gonna let my head hang. So with the exhale breath, I release my body into the ground. Release my body into the earth.
Are we able to let go for a little bit longer? Focus on your breath, turn inward. Slowly coming out now of dragon. Make our way back up. We come to all fours or child's pose or downward facing dog. And then make your way to all fours. And uncurling the toes, sit first back into child's pose. Let the forehead down towards the ground. Your arms could come forward or by the side of the body. If child's pose does not work for your knees, you can sit on a chair and fold forward, or you can come over to the side of the body or go over to your back and tuck your knees in. Okay, making your way out of child's pose to all fours. To sleeping swan for the next pose, I'll show you uh, a different pose for sleeping swan, but we have to have our pillow handy right here onto the right side. You can have a block too. So to downward facing dog, so from all four, four, uh, fours, step forward the right hand, left hand into downward facing dog. Take the right leg up, bend to the knee, and then bring your knee to the right wrist and turn it out. So my knee is turned out. I'm gonna place my pillow underneath of my right hip. Sleeping swan. Add the forward fold and let the forehead rest, resting on your arms, your hands, your mat. My toes are down towards the ground at first to help square my hips. And then I can uncurl my toes, the top of my foot down. And then I'm able to let my pelvis sink into the ground a little bit. Now the variation for this, so another pose would be lying on your back, resting your right ankle over top of the left knee, 
Figure four, wrap your hands around the left leg. Here we are stretching out, lengthening through the right side of our pelvis again. Did this one with dragon. This one may be a little bit easier on your body to be able to let your body rest into the ground. If you do have a pinching into the back of the knee, you may want to just readjust the leg placement and then come into the fold again. If you are in figure four, you could slowly release and change sides. If you are in sleeping swan, you can slowly make your way out of sleeping swan and back to downward facing dog, then to all fours because we have to change our pillow over to the other side here to support our left side of the hip. Back to all fours and then step forward with the right hand, left hand into downward facing dog. Three legged dog, left like this. Bend the knee and turn your knee out to the left wrist. Place your pillow underneath of the left hip. You may remain upright or coming into sleeping swan, folding forward. Let the forehead rest. It's fine, it's going to work for you. Again, you may have your toes down towards the ground. They can stay down too. Or you can uncurl the toes so the pelvis will sink a little bit deeper into the ground. Now see how this side is, so the left side of the hip is compared to the right side of the hip. Again, if you have any kind of pinching into the knee, a little ache or anything like that, please 
readjust and then find where it's comfortable for you. But if it's a pain, then that's not good. You can try rolling over to your back for figure four. back to your breath and breathe into this area's tightness. Exhale, let them go. We are moving our energy in our body as we touch on all the different sides of our body, lengthening through all the different sides of our body. Helping to bring harmony back to ourself from the inside out. Coming out of sleeping swan, figure four, you can come out of and remain on your breath back, driving your right knee and then left knee in towards the chest. Now sleeping with swan, you make your way back to downward facing dog, and then all fours, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll come over to the side of our body, and then roll over to our back and into cradle, drawing your right knee and left knee in towards the chest. And we hold. Here it's really nice to let our lower back our pelvis soften into the ground.
We take our right foot down, left foot down towards the ground into banana asana. Extending both legs straight and we walk our feet over, legs over to the left corner of our mat. Walking our upper body over to the left corner of the mat. Arms coming overhead if that works for you. If it doesn't work for your rotator cuff or whatever it may be, please don't do it. And still have your arms by the side. You can hold um, onto your hands. You can all hold on to opposite elbows or you can have your arms wide out to the far apart. You may also cross your right ankle over top of the left ankle. You know, we're stretching along the right side of our body and breathe. A lot of times that uh, we may think of the wonderful physical aspects that yoga brings to us. All the physical benefits. As we open up through our body, we lengthen. And to notice more. We open up different emotions. Maybe mental awareness. Making a mind body connection. All the health benefits, twists, compressions. And crossing your right ankle from the left. Taking your arms back down to the side of the body and our upper body comes back to the center. And we walk our legs over to the right corner of our mat. Our upper body walking it over to the right corner of our mat. Here again, the arms may come up overhead. You can have your arms wider, or you can hold on to your hands or opposite elbows. It's funny what's going to work for you. And pressing the left ankle over top of the right ankle. My hardwood floor is nice and cold, so it's nice to have my arms on my floor. Now with this big opening through the front of the body, through this left side of our body, the first word that came to me was the feeling of joy. When we're talking about emotions and just taking notice of how we're feeling. So how I felt first thing was joy. feeling of opening. And maybe you thought of something for yourself. Could have been more than one, one emotion, one feeling.
Let's slowly release. So uncrossing our ankles, taking the arms back to the side of the body as you take your upper body back to the center. And legs come back to the center. Bending the right knee, bending the left knee, coming back to cradle. So we take our right knee and then left knee in towards the chest and we hold for a moment. Our final pull is Shavasana. You may lie on your back. You may have your knees bent. You can have your legs straight. You may have legs up the wall and actually put them against a wall. A little support. Now when we come into Shavasana, we put a cover, a blanket, over top of your bodies so you stay nice and warm. Going to go get a blanket right now. You can also be in seated too. Finding stillness. Your body soften. Your eye sockets are heavy. Lips part. And again, feel your body soften. Call you back when it is time.
slowly coming back. Seeing your breath. Soft breath. Feeling the softness from the inside out. Your center. Feeling warmth. Feeling the harmony, the balance. You wiggle your toes or your fingers to start to wake up a little bit more. Maybe a shift through the body. If you're lying on your back, you may bend through the right knee and then the left knee. And you can take your right arm overhead and roll over to your right side to fetal, letting your head rest into your arm. And then slowly make your way back up to a comfortable seated position. We place our hands to our heart center, joining the moon and sun together. Bringing your hands to your heart center. Thank you so much for joining me and sharing your practice. Continuing to feel this harmony from the inside out. Namaste.